Anyway, moving on to the next story, a recent report published by the New York Times suggests supermodel Bella Hadid was among the victims of sexual harassment by Victoria's Secret executives. The report alleged that models and staff were suffering backstage due to misogyny, um, bullying and harassment culture in the popular lingerie company and fashion show Juggernaut. It also detailed the alleged sexual misconduct by the former chief marketing officer Ed Razek, who reportedly made lewd comments about Hadith's breast prior to the brand's annual televised fashion show in 2018. Following the report, Razek has released a statement denying all allegations and um, neither Bella nor Victoria's Secret has commented on the report. This just um, gives me the impression that there's certain people you don't mess with, especially in America, because um, Ed Razak was trying to, um, he dropped a very insensitive comments mm -hmm. while he was promoting the brand, saying that um, you can have plus, talking about plus, plus size. Yeah, yeah he lost his job following them. that, actually. Yeah, I think he stepped down, but yeah, he lost his job, we mm -hmm. can put it that way. And um, Aside that, said that they don't even have plans of transgender and they're not selling to the whole world. You get yeah. so I feel like there are certain people in America that you can't mess with because when you make certain comments, you have to be very careful with, as an executive in any mm -hmm. sector. And it's just crazy that if they want you down, they would definitely get you down. They'll dig up stuff. <laughs> now, this a, this being an ongoing case where a lot of people have reported uh, misconduct against Ed Razek and even. The billionaire of the mother company L something. Uh, what's what's the company again? Something L. That that's the mother company of Victoria's Secret. They've leveled allegations against them about their misconduct and um, treating women wrongly, mm -hmm. the misogynist yeah. act and all of that. But at the end of the day, this guy kept walking impunitively, like nobody gave a hoot about what he was mm -hmm. doing. Do you understand? But all of a sudden, when you make comments, people will definitely, especially in the Me Too movement <sighs> era, and I think that you just need to be careful as an executive in any sector. Well, maybe I feel like you need to behave properly. Exactly. So even if you make a statement against a certain group, dirt, yeah. if there is no skeleton in your cupboard, anybody digging will not find anything to dig out. So mm -hmm. if that's the case, well, all well and good. But if he did this, then I hope he pays for what he has done. Yeah. Mm. So um, Victoria's Secret is one of the like, biggest fashion mm. companies. If you want to talk about you know, fashion mm -hmm. shows, mm -hmm. laundry and all of that, Victoria's Secret is like the and biggest they've not had their annual fashion show in two years. They've not had their annual fashion show in two years because of the fact that they have stalled when it comes to inclusivity, body mm. positivity. I mean, one thing that um, Victoria's Secret failed to acknowledge is the fact that times change, mm -hmm. trends change. Victoria's people Secret change. was, yeah, people change. You Victoria's Secret was like the hallmark the too late, of beauty and then you see all of these thin models in beautiful, they call sexy. Them angel, like yeah, they you know, they call them angels and then, but the trend changed. People were now moving towards more body positive brands like Savage and Fenty now. If you Included. saw the um, Rihanna's um, fashion show, there was so much diversity. The diversity there yeah. were big models, there were black models, with dark skinned models. models, you know, it was a celebration of what it means to be a woman. Mm. When it comes to Victoria's Secret, it's like there's this image mm. that they already have of who a woman should be. So am I surprised? And they were trying to impose that, on, trying to impose that on everybody. Am I surprised that there's misogyny or sexual harassment in, <laughs> in Victoria's Secret? No, I am not. Because when you look at the message mm -hmm. that they even put out with their branding, with the, the, the models that they put out there, you know that they're already telling us a message. There were so many women who grew up, they could not see themselves in the models that were parading the floor. Now you see other brands saying that, irrespective of your shape, irrespective of your size, you matter. For you. Mm -hmm. you know, we have something for you. We have a brand for you. And for so long, people were calling out Victoria Shuki to do a line for plus-sized people. No, people are walking into your store, they're like, this is not my size, this is not my size. They are feeling depressed because they feel like, oh, they cannot be sexy. Mm -hmm. Now other brands are now saying, okay, we can include, we can create um, products for you, but you, you Everyone. are still stuck in your, oh, this is the setting, um, this is the standard for what women beauty But then what, be. what he said, is it, is it, ex okay, you're not surprised. I'm not surprised about the misogynity. Mm -hmm. Him misogynity saying they have their target audience and uh, all that. That's would why you? I said they did not progress. Their target audience, this mm -hmm. is statement, target audience, if you said it in 2000, nobody would really say anything. But times have changed. In the era of Me Too, in the era of the Me Too, and everybody, f um, you know, clamoring for but a voice and representation, things have changed. 
cool. Every 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 business has a target audience. Yeah. You have the people that you have in mind to sell to. So which the only is thing is, you I see said, now, every, everybody and everyone, like every are so sex, sensitive. So, like the sensitivity and, yeah, is scary. Yeah. So that's why I said you need to be careful what, what you say. say because even if you think age. it, you can't say it anymore. Yeah. So maybe he should have said that in a better way. But I still don't want to believe well, that this is the reason plans, this is happening now. Even, yeah. But I think I still I, don't want and, to and also, it's not just the reason. It's they have so many issues in Nigeria because there's, they were also accused of starving their models. They, the so extreme. they had so many issues. Okay, I thought you said they had so many secrets in Victoria's Secret. No. <laughs> no, I said they have so many issues because there were even, you know, there were tales of models who had to go through extreme measures in order mm. to keep their petite shape because if you go out of shape, mm. they'll be like, you can no longer, um, you know, walk the runway. So I don't think it's more or less like, okay, we cater to only thin people. It's more or less like the pressure that we're putting on, on the models. The model and even, like. you know, I should have time for you like. to explain this the way you feel, but I think it's your personal bias, though.